boyfriend's mom made them for us. Oh, those yeah. are great. She's going to be my my right, my right, my left wing. Well, okay. she was a pretty good go-to this weekend as a freshman, uh, you know, swimmer of the meet. How proud are you of Elizabeth right now? Oh, in incredibly proud. Um, just of her, Rachel Bootsma, Rachel Acker, um, just uh, Kelly Nazi, Lauren Driscoll. It's been an a, amazing freshman class, and we knew that coming in and the way they showed up this weekend and just um, – not just this weekend, this whole year, really embrace collegiate swimming and what it means to be a bear, and it, I, I couldn't be prouder. When did you guys finalize the lineup, and how were those conversations when you were talking about you know, a 200 freestyle on day number two, and, and when did you guys final, finalize that, and how did that conversation go? Uh, I, I, I kind of knew what I was yeah, going to do yeah. all year in the back of my mind, so we were just kind of getting ready for that with every dual meet where I had to swim it, like every event and within an hour and a half, so yeah. We get a couple of singles, a couple of 400 IMs at the beginning, and you yeah. know, just I think doing. I, I think the thing with Elizabeth is is that she's so versatile, and to have a great career, I think it's important to keep developing different events, and different, you know, and she can help us in a lot of different ways. And she's a sprinter now, so it's pretty exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Her backstroke was so phenomenal this weekend. It must be able to help being able to utilize Rachel Bootsman, the butterfly, knowing that you have the backstroke covered. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, we're we're going to appeal to the NCAA for a 4x100 backstroke relay. And I think we can break the American record, so that's going to be my, my rules proposal next week. <laughs> Elizabeth, the freestyle and your backstroke, you just make it look so easy. It doesn't look like there's a tough stroke throughout the race. Do you ever get a conversation with Terry that says, maybe a little bit more tempo, or do you ever have a problem after the race is done, figuring out out if what kind of effort there was in the middle or if she's ever struggling because the stroke just looks so smooth and easy. Don't answer. No. No, I, I, I mean, I, I think that there's lots of different ways to be successful and approach your races, and, and that's what I've enjoyed working with Elizabeth is I feel like it's really important. Elizabeth's strengths are different than Rachel's or in backstroke or Cindy's or Natalie's were, and, and just to look at her as an athlete and, and what are her strengths and help her maximize that. But I don't think it's probably as effortless as it looks. <laughs> but, definitely uh, not effortless. But I think any time you, know, you look at a diver and a perfect dive looks effortless, and I think that was a beautiful swim and that it looked like she could keep going and, <laughs> and you know, really had it. She controlled the race rather than the race controlling her. Yeah. That's, that's, I think, something we've been talking about. So. Yeah, and I think a big thing in training was not, it's, it was more of quality training this whole season as opposed to quantity, so maybe that's why it looks effortless, but it was, it was very concentrated, I think, the whole season. Where do you think Elizabeth and, and your other freshmen grew the most over their freshman year? Um, I think just learning how to step up for my teammates, no matter how I feel. She, I, mean, I had to do a bunch of swims at dual meets where I would swim a 200 IM and then get out and do a, a relay uh, so that I know when I have the 400 free relay that if I'm fresh I can I know I can really throw a, a good one. When you guys came in at a, it's such an awesome freshman class I think the expectations were this is a dynasty they're they're not going to lose an NC2A meet for the next 10 years maybe uh, at least for the next four does it make it maybe a little bit more um, uh, do you get a little bit more hungry after a runner-up finish like this this year uh, going into next year? Oh, definitely. Yeah, um, I think it was definitely bittersweet because I, I feel like I couldn't have done much more, but it, I don't know, next year it's on again. Yeah, thank you. Great job. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah thank you.